guys, it's Ayanna from the Chef. I hope you're doing super well today. If you haven't subbed and you do so, thank you very much. All you gotta do is click right here. Let's make some brigadeiros today. These are little fudge balls. They are super easy to make. They are delicious. We make these for birthday parties. You can make them, you know, in the holidays. Anytime you have a special occasion or if you want a decadent little snack, <laughs> let's make this. In this pot, I have a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, four tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, and a tablespoon of unsalted salt, butter, <laughs> unsalted salt. Uh, we're just gonna stir this and mix it. Now, I am going to stand here and stir this uh, for a good 10 minutes until it is ready. Do not stop stirring. It needs it, your constant attention, okay? What we want is that for this to thicken, and I'm going to show you when it's ready, it's going to start separating from the sides of the pan. I want you to be working on the lowest setting uh, on your stove, so very, very low heat. Also make sure you don't have any cocoa lumps inside your chocolate, okay? So stir vigorously for until they're all gone. All right, look at this. This is starting to separate from the sides. But what we really want is once we bring it all to the middle, for it not to spread. That's when it's ready. So this has, you know, a couple more minutes. So this is what we want, see? We make a little soft ball in the middle. It doesn't spread, it's ready. All right, we're gonna wait for this to cool down a little bit until we can hold, uh, touch it. So I want you to wash your hands and then just put some butter on them, unsalted butter. This is gonna prevent the chocolate from sticking to your hand. Once your chocolate is cool enough to handle, Take it off a spoon and just make a little ball. You have to work fast. You don't want it to uh, get too cold and harden, okay? Then you're just gonna roll that little ball on some sprinkles. Now, you can cover these with whatever you want depending on the occasion, okay? For example, for Halloween, we're going to cover these with these orange and black sprinkles. I am going to do this with all of these little balls and then come back to you. Here they are, oh, yum, yum. You know, you have to put these in the fridge in a closed container. They will last you for, oh, four or five days. Um, we're gonna try this now. Um, also, you're gonna get between 16 and 22, maybe, depending on the size. Try and make them all the same size if you can. Note that these keep their shape as they cool down, you know, and it's because we had them exactly where they have to be. If you undercook these, they would turn flat. So this is what you want. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Mmm. 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 Wow. These are fudgy. They're chewy. They're absolutely delicious. <laughs> you know, I, you can also uh, put dry coconut on these if you would like. That, you know, we used to do that when we were kids. And you can also put chopped walnuts in this if you would like. Yum. I'm going to have this recipe on the website waiting for you guys to come and print it. In the meantime, eat well without going broke and I'm going to see you soon.